Hello fellow Gwent players, and this is the monthly seasonal video that I make where I play seasonal and then never touch the game mode again. This time we have the season of the bear, where after the mulligan, both players' decks are getting banished, and whenever a card appears in the deck, that card will also be banished. And the first deck that I've built is a Draw Your Golds Northern Realms list with Vicious Slash. I have seen some Nilfgaard decks running around in this seasonal mode that just benefit from your opponent not having any cards in their deck, but I still think that these Northern Realms Golds can be pretty devastating, especially with Shoop and Redea. Now all we have to do really is just mulligan the bronze cards and find all of these gold cards. Shouldn't be too hard, right? And yeah, that's the idea for this deck. And I use Vicious Slash because all the other Northern Realms leaders sort of benefit from cards being in your deck or they're terrible. So I guess Vicious Slash was the best alternative to that. So yeah, uh, let's just see what this deck does and then we build another deck for the next game. All right, we're playing against Gurney Cora. Okay, okay. I mean, that's also pretty good since that produces a lot of points. Oh, this is a very bronze hand. We don't like to see that, obviously. Bronze hands can be pretty bad in this game mode. So I'm looking at you. Oh no, another bronze card. Bronze cards aren't good, as I said. Oh god, what is this? Oh no 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 look at this hand We have a mere three golds in that hand. How are we gonna win? How are we actually gonna win? <laughs> oh boy. We could use Philip on that. I just don't see a point right now. There's actually like considerations of passing on nine cards. But why do you play that now? Do I have to pass here? <laughs> I have a feeling I might have to pass here. No, actually I can. I can keep up here now. Now with the A rush. Okay, Flutter. Wait, are you actually allowed to go... I mean, you can go a card down, but you might actually have to draw a pass. Like, most of the games. Oh, but this hand is not good. This hand, like... it. You could say it's three gold, but in reality it's just two golds. Which isn't too fantastic. So, he gets four more points if I play it out. I get four more points as well, so this actually kind of evens out. I need 15. This is seven. Uh, we actually have to pass here. God damn it, this is so terrible. This hand was absolute garbage. Oh my. <laughs> uh, I could have used Philip on the Weiger, and I just, there was just no point in that. Alright, this is gonna be the hand that we're gonna have to be working with. That's absolutely terrible. How am I meant to win with this? He's gonna use the bleed mechanic. I mean, in the sense of he's gonna bleed my bum hole. Okay, I'm just gonna use this ballista. Okay, I mean, just passes after that, okay, whatever. His leader just does like five points here, so that's okay, whereas our leader can do like more, so that's okay. <laughs> Everything's kind of just okay, except for the hand that we actually have. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, what else am I supposed to do here? He might have like ghouls. If you played this griffin just now, so that can give us a good baron. Azrael. Oh, okay. Well, that's an easy baron in that case, but I'm not gonna use it just yet. I mean, I should just use it. It trades pretty nicely here. I think I'm gonna rune stone first. I just play for Sentry Enchantress. I'm not gonna use this damage because it, it, it doesn't do anything right now. Okay, there's a Necarat that we can kind of deal with with Philip. But oh, I'm just gonna baron here for this huge reset on that. And I can just hit this, I guess. Okay, there's Ice Giant. We're just gonna Vicious Slash that. And play our Redanian Elite. I don't know why he played this like second card instead of like this. Like he had, he had a target for this. There's the Ghoul. All right, Philippa, do your thing. Win me this game. Beautiful, beautiful Philippa. Not a single point lost on that. <laughs> and we actually won with this hand. How do we win with this hand? I actually have no idea. But we did, and we're happy about it. I guess because our opponent just played like a dumb dumb. And this is the next deck. It's a Patricidal Fury deck with these golds like Wild Boar of the Sea, Morkvark. Wild Boar might not be the greatest since these rounds are cut pretty short, but it's pretty good for winning something like round one. And then we just have a bunch of 
cards that do damage, deal damage, and work with damage, and have sort of a devastating effect with Patricidal Fury, since that is just an explosive leader ability, and these cards are all pretty explosive, and you want explosiveness in this mode, I believe. So that's what we're here for, that's what we're gonna do, now let's just get into a game with this. Alright, we're gonna play the Calvit Double Cross deck, that's okay, I guess, I mean, eh, it's not the greatest, but I'll take it. Okay, 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 we go first though, so this is not too good, I guess. Do I want a Freya? Oh, wait, why do I have Ermion in the deck? I should not have added Ermion. I'm gonna mulligan Ermion. Ermion's kinda bad. So do I start with Zigvald? I think I can start with Zigvald. Ah, I should have played around the Sass. Nah, he's not gonna play a Sass. Come on. Who's this guy? He could play a Sass. Hey, he's gonna lock it though. That's slow tempo. Slow tempo's not good for you, sir. Please don't yoink that. Okay, he's gonna. Play one of them guys. Now, do I want to play my greatsword? I'm. I think I'm. I can play my greatsword back row, right? In this case, shouldn't be too bad. All right, sweet. Well, we can just deal with this with delirium, which I'm just gonna do. Oh boy, this guy did not draw really well, did he? I might have to think of passing myself here. Ah, uh, nope. But he's thought of it before I did, so that's okay. All right, now the question is, do we bleed? And I say no. We pass and go for the long round here, since Boat will do quite a bit of- Oh my god, he has actually found two of these. This actually could have been pretty good for us then. All right. <laughs> well, I, I love how fast this is. This is very nice. I like that a lot. Okay. Uh, we can we can more quark this. This is not too bad. Oh, love the fast animation. Everything's so fast. Ooh. Ooh. Now, what's he gonna find here? He's not gonna find anything too great. I mean, the best card he can find is like Donar and Giga. I think not, just resurrect the great sword. Or do I Vabjorn the one? Well, this still gives me like a bloodthirst, so that's not too bad. I think I just use my Petricidal Fury now onto the great sword. Smash! Hmm. Yeah, I could just get rid of this, right? Since it does deal damage to this, since this is doomed. Rotosser. Well, good that we can play Wild Boar of the Sea now. What a, I mean, this guy did not draw really well, did he? He drew like one gold, two golds with the other guy. Jesus, that's not a good hand. All right, there's the Wild Boar of the Sea getting poisoned. But how are you gonna poison a ship? I mean, you can, but do you want to? Okay, there's his Vilgaforts. I'm gonna just Donar. Wait, Donar on this. Oh, five. Oh, that means I can't actually kill it with Vabjorn. Oh, that feels bad. Whatever. Should still be okay here. Unless he has Van Morlehem. In that case, that could be a bit awkward. Like, no, he just has, has regular poison. Yeah, you yeah, should kill this one. And yeah. That's Skellige out the way. All right, and this next deck is a Arrakis Swarm carryover deck with things like Phoenix, Siri Nova, Karen Thier, and then we also have things like Musicians of Blaviken for the RNG carryover. There might be a consideration to add Xavier Lemons instead of Goliath. I do like the consistency on the Osral. And yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I have living armor, right? So yeah, let's just add Xavier Lemons in for Goliath. I've convinced myself that this is a correct <laughs> idea. So yeah, let's just go ahead and play with this deck. All right, who are we going to face? Syndicate. Ooh, Syndicate's very draw dependent, so this could be a kind of a bad mode for them, but who knows? I guess uh, this is okay. Oh, uh, two A rushes is kind of awkward. Okay, so since we don't have any targets for Osril, I'm gonna have to mulligan Osril here. <gasps> oh, we get Siri, but we don't have... I mean, we have a lot of specials, right? So that's actually not too bad. Okay, let's just see what we can do here. Alright, we get multiple Siri Novas. Uh, no, this, this ruins my predatory dive. That's okay, though. I mean, the problem will be that... Wait, what am I doing? Why am I playing Siri Novas? These are gonna be in the graveyard. I shouldn't have put Lamjin in the deck. Wait, what? Die, cow. I could have actually dived that as well. That actually would have been more value. Okay. 
Ah, I don't have a rush as well now. Uh, do I want to trigger here though? I think I can trigger here. This is too bad. I guess I can play for the Siri Nova this round, cause, <laughs> cause she's not gonna come back at all next round. So I mean, if I had Xavier, she would obviously come back. That would have been pretty nuts, but uh, it's not happening. Not happening today, boys. Okay. No idea why I use that. I could use Andrega Larvas here, and then use this as like a predatory dive bait. But he still gets the coins, doesn't he? He still does get the coins, though. I mean, even then, Siri Nova doesn't come back because this is in my graveyard. I think I just pass here. He needs 13. He might have to use leader, and I'm fine with him using leader. Ah, am I though? We're banking on him not having morels basically here, which, you know, could be the case. Okay, so he's giving himself five coins. And he's gonna Graydon as well. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, he's like, what, is he like a starter deck syndicate? I don't know. Uh, such a shame that we don't have lemons in our hand here. Because we have exactly like three units that we want to banish. Oh, he's actually not gonna pass. That's fascinating. That was a good dive as well. I should have just dived there. Oh, my bad. But I was just a rush, I guess. Actually, no. I should have just dived there. That would have made life a lot easier. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Alright, so I have to, I'll I'll use leader twice and then eat with Andrega Warrior. So I get at least a six on the beast. Or do I Glusty first? Do I just Glusty first and then Beast? And if he poisons Glusty, we just eat it with the warrior. I think yeah we do that. I think that's better. Just Glusty first. Then beast, and then he poisons it, and then we eat it. Shoot oh! How could I forget the Shoop Syndicate? Uh, good. Uh, that's not that good. Transform rightmost card. Oh my, he missed all the good choices there. Why is my rightmost card not... Okay, uh, whatever. Wow, that was unlucky though. That would have won them the game, but it's Shoop, so he got unlucky in the end of the day. Oh, he had poison this, this entire time? Oh, uh, we could have eaten that. That's actually so good. At that's actually kind of game winning. Are we tie? Are you serious? I mean, I, I, we should have lost that, but <laughs> still, what the hell? All right, and the next deck that I've built is a Nilfgaard deck. Nilfgaard, yet again, being the faction that benefits the most out of this mode, since cards like Tibor Egebracht, Vilgefortz, and Imperial Golem exist. Also, Shillard is pretty devastating in this mode, since your opponent is bound to one hand the entire game. I also added Siri just for a bit of lore friendliness being Nilfgaard and all. I also have Karl of Arrays, different from some of the last decks. Then we have Shoop and Redea being the cards they are, and we just built a Shoop and Redea deck. Now, yet again, we're pretty dependent on our golds, but, I mean, drawing gold cards is always the way to go in Gwent, and this deck's no different. I also have Decoy in this deck, because apparently Decoy works at replaying the cards, so you can replay Vilgefortz like multiple times, or like Karlo Velez. And yeah, let's just see what we can do with this deck, and hopefully we can be victorious. Hey, okay, I'm not gonna read that name, but he's gonna play Enslave, while we are gonna play Tactical decision okay we got some good cards here i like these cards i like seeing these cards for sure carlo Varese could be pretty helpful do i need ass ass not necessarily don't need this sergeant this bugged sergeant okay i mean we're still missing out on like shoop and redea but eh whatever eh what can you do <laughs> what are you gonna do it's five and slave okay he's purify that sure enough i could give a ta but like yeah, whatever. That just gives him more points on his removal. He suggested it. That's fine. The reason I use TA is because of Siri Dash, but we didn't draw her, so it doesn't matter. Oh, there's Golem. That's our Karlova race for a nice little nine point tempo there. Since this card doesn't gain any value, this card just is max value. I mean, okay, he needs, what, seven points here? I mean, passing here actually isn't too bad. Sure. We could get a bit better Vilgefortz. But then he just plays Tibor last and we lose. Last side could actually have been more important than I thought. 
Oh, he's gonna use leader though. He's, he had to use leader there. That means his hand was pretty bad. So he passed. Am I willing to play diplomacy? Diplomacy could be a bit, a bit risky, so I'm not gonna use that. I don't think lock's gonna be too important here. I think I just use my Artfane Tortoise proactively here. God, I love these short rounds. These short games are so good, so satisfying. I like the seasonal mode a lot. You're not really forcing anything with it. It's just like draw good cards, <laughs> win the game. Don't draw good cards. You could still have a chance. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty easy, ass ass. That trades up like crazy. There's Tibor. Uh, really? You're gonna play Tibor like before your last card? I'm gonna use my Sergeant here. Probably gonna use Vilgefortz on it. Why did he play this first? What other card could he have? Okay. Wait, why not even cop? Why not just copy that? That bo literally just boosts itself the first second. Alright, there you go. There's his Vilgefortz. Now I'm gonna play my Vilgefortz. ha 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 ha. See you in 16 points. Sure, whatever. Nice, okay. And the last deck for today is this absolute atrocity, where I play for either Aglace or Zegrin, where the idea is basically draw either Zegrin or Aglace, and when it's Zegrin, we just mulligan all the units. If it's Aglace, we try and get Thunderbolts, and we have Gorilla Tactics to boost up the Aglace. And we also have Ithlin for Aglace. So yeah, this is pretty silly, but that's what we're here for. Building silly decks without any repercussions since we're not climbing anything. I just wanted to try this thing and see how it does. Hopefully we don't play into any like Nilfgaard decks and get just stomped by things like Vilgefortz. Eh, who knows, maybe this deck is surprisingly good in this mode, but probably not. I just wanted to try some nonsense and nonsense this most definitely is. Double- oh god, okay, we lose. <laughs> we just lose. Because uh, they have Vilgefortz, we just have to pray he didn't draw Vilgefortz, but that's just like a really hard assumption to make. Okay, okay, I mean, it's alright, it's alright. We can play for this this round and then Aglace next round. Oh, but he's got Lock, and we have no Purify. Ooh, Glynis, that's actually kind of good. I'll answer it with a Yarpin, who's just gonna get locked. Why do you play Kalar? Kalar's such a bad strategium. I play for Sage now. I should have played this first, right? Dried Fledgling. Oh, he actually has Thunder as well. So I should definitely should have played the Dried Fledgling first. In that case. I mean, I'm just playing for last say here. Pikeman. Get out of here, Pikeman. Nobody likes you. What if I just play the Synthesis? What are you going to do against that? Huh? Okay, there is the Assimilate proc, finally. He's probably found some terrible cards here. Poison. Okay, poison doesn't do much. Sir, will you be so willing and pass here? Oh god. I have to do this. Actually, no, I can still do this, right? What, what? Come on, man. Can you play a card, please? He's gonna lead her? Oh no, he's gonna. Redea! Oh god. Oh man, this guy drew pretty well, didn't he? Oh wait, no, I can't. I have to win the round, I forgot. Oh, well, this game's over. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Ah, crap. <laughs> oh god, that wasn't good. That was not very good. I want to try that again. I want to try the stick again. That was kind of dumb for me. Enslave yet again. Is it gonna be Enslave 5 or Enslave 6? It's gonna be Enslave 5. But he doesn't play Kolar, unlike the last guy. Okay, well again, you... Oh, the more specials, the better. But also like Aglace. That works, I guess. Wait, he's pa he's just dry passed? Okay, sure, whatever. I'm just gonna play my immu- uh, my not immune, my resilient Gabor. Oh yeah, that's actually a possibility now. You can actually pass on 10, that's pretty funny. Alright, there's poison. I can... Do I use a leader? I think I can use a leader charge here. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, there's a poison. Do I play Thunderbolts here, or do I just Sage and give it a Bruver tick? I think I could just Sage and Bruver tick. I think that's safe. Ah, oh, but I forgot about that. Oh, that's not good. 
Okay, uh, I think I just use all my Brewer ticks this round. Use A rush here. Okay. Well, if we force out Vilgefortz out of him, we should be good for this game, right? So I'm just gonna give this the 10 boost. Okay, another poison. Might as well just pass here. Oh my, he actually drew pretty well then. He drew like one, two, three, four poisons. Five poisons in total, actually, with morale. Okay, defender, whatever. Why are you playing defender? Okay. One man army, let's go. You can't yoink it. You can assass, but... See, no, he doesn't have assass anymore. Uh-oh. Any bit of damage and he can yoink it. There's the bit of damage and now he can yoink it and then we just lose. God damn it! We should have played this first, right? Thunderbolt? Uh, no, I want to win with this. I want to win with this. I actually, I, actually, I actually want to win with this now. Double cross yet again. So now we're just going to be facing a lot of nilf guards. At the start, we didn't face any nilf guards. Now we're just... Now we're just facing Nilfgaard, okay. That's perfectly fine. I got some good cards here, actually. Mm, do I want to keep this hand, though? There might be a bit too many units for my liking. Ah, a lot better, a lot better. Okay, he's got that. I think I could just rebuke, play uninteractive for the moment. Shillard. Oh, that's actually kind of good, because now he doesn't have it on this. And he can't replay it. I mean, he can play decoy on it if he drew it. Okay, I'm gonna play my Sage now. He's gonna poison a one. Aha. Okay. He actually plays muzzle. Mad lad. Absolute mad lad. Okay. So how much is this? I still need all my charges. That's fine. That's actually fine. I don't mind that too much. Last side is pretty good with Aglace. Oh, got rid of a lock as well. I mean, he still has, like, Vilgeforts, <laughs> doesn't he? I mean, we play this naked, right? We don't really care. Oh, another lock out of the way. That's good. I'm guessing his last card's, like, Vilgeforts. Oh, we're gonna win with this, aren't we? We have to win with this. Like, we have Aglace and Thunderbolt. I should just win, like, a four-card round. I mean, he has A-Rush, which is pretty good. Golem. Okay. I'm not gonna use my A-Rush just yet. And there's Vilgeforts. I should have used A-Rush, honestly, though. I mean... Whatever, doesn't matter. As long as I don't give him anything to interact with. Huh, but I still lose, right? Ah, I still lose. This is just too good. My opponent drew too well. <laughs> oh, decoy. Are you mad? He actually drew everything. He actually drew like perfectly, except for Tibor, maybe. Oh, so close though, in the end. I mean, A-Rush wouldn't have played for anything anyway, so it doesn't actually make a difference. I wanna win one, I wanna, I really do wanna win one with this. Oh, yes, okay. Playing against Invigorate. Oh, Invigorate's good in this mode. Invigorate's actually kinda good in this mode. It gives you 10 points, for sure. Oh, hello. You can play for Renew Aglace, or Renew, oh, Renew Ithlin, that's also kinda good. Okay, Gabor's good. Uh, we need, he doesn't play specials. Oh god, this hand's not good. Oh god, this hand is not good. Unless, I mean, this Ithlin kind of saves the hand, but... I, I didn't think about Invigorate at all. I think that's actually the best way to play Scoia'tael in this mode. But I want a meme, so that's kind of pointless. Oh, gonna go for big skags here, my friend. I see, I see you, I see you. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we played all both of these Marauders out now. It's pretty good. Two Agitators is never good. It's just so low tempo. Oh, we don't have any of the specials. That's kind of sad. Okay. Let's give Aglace this boost. And we play for A Rush, this, 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 and maybe these cards as well. I mean, realistically, we kind of want to lose this round. Oh, man, if we had Rebuke, man, this would have been so good. Uh, do I want to use my leader on that? Uh, I think now it's kind of good to use my leader on that. I don't want to give him any more carryover. I'm just going to use that now. I'll play A Rush. Oh, he actually, wow, he actually had an answer to everything. That's so annoying. But he's lacking points. That's something that we have. I mean, the longer this round goes, the, the worse his carryover gets. Uh, for example, that's pretty good. Well, he, he put all his boosts in that, didn't he? So I just pass, right? All right, he's gonna dry pass now, I believe. Man, what are you doing? You have four cards in your hand. What is there to make a decision about? It's either do or not. Why do people take so long here? You have four cards in your hand, man. 
make your decision. How like what what four cards do you have that this is like such a tough decision to make? He's gonna discard a card. He's gonna discard Geralt of Rivia. Sure, whatever. And now we just win. What the? F what was that? Do I accept that? I don't accept that win. I won't accept that win. <laughs> oh, I'm so stubborn. Is it the same guy? No, I don't think it, what it is. No, the other guy had a different border. All right, this one's gonna be... Oh, look at that. Yarpin. All these boys. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we got Rebuke. I'm not gonna get rid of Rebuke. I mean, this hand's actually okay. Yeah, this hand's all right. I'm gonna play Marauder. No, I'm not gonna use TA just yet. I don't think he has Rebuke. Or any sort of, like, removal. I mean, he could have, like, Malayne, but that doesn't really matter. Ooh. Big boy Schuttenbach, eh? But that doesn't mean he has, like, Geralt or something. I mean, he might have Poison, but then we can just pass. I mean, Poison he has to draw, obviously. Oh. Ooh. I mean, we can still play Sage. And then still use Rebuke on that. Okay. I mean, he's getting ahead of me here. But not for long! Muhaha. <laughs> this place for like 10 for 5p, man. That's crazy. Mantlet. Ah, yes. The classic mantlet in Scoyatel. I'm just gonna keep bleeding this guy. I might play Sysenthesis next. He has another one of these guys. That's good. I'm gonna play Sysenthesis here. And we should be good for the round. I mean, he's not gonna pass, but I will pass. I mean, he needs quite some chunky points here. Is that enough? No, it's not. Okay. So if if he dry passes, which he's very likely going to do, Zegrin or Aglace? Aglace gets six extra points off of leader, whereas Zegrin gets six extra points off of like just existing. Yeah, I think it's gotta be Zegrin, dude. I think it's gotta be Zegrin, my friends. <laughs> he might have Geralt. I mean, if he has Geralt, I'm kind of gonna be a bit pissed. I mean, he has Mantlet, so no idea what he's playing. Let's go, Yarpin Zegrin. If we don't win this, then we're just never gonna win without, you know, our opponent going AFK, I guess. Uh, that's kind of cute. That's like one point per turn. Oh, we're like three points per turn. Actually, we should have killed that Gascon. I mean, oh boy, his last card's Geralt, isn't it? Pew! Oh, this takes so long with Philavandril. These animations, man. All right, Geralt or Bust. Igni? In this mode, you're gonna play Igni? Get out of here, man. That's some, that's some complete and utter garbage. Wow, okay, I'm amazed. And yeah, that was this seasonal mode. Don't play Igni in the seasonal mode since the rounds are really short, but I guess this guy is on another plane of existence compared to all of us. So yeah, this guy knows what's up, but... <laughs> This is a pretty nice seasonal mode, I have to admit. There's a lot of fun you can have with it. It's very short, very concise, and you can get a lot of games done with it. So if you want to, like, grind some stuff, definitely do play this. Since it's just quick games, quick wins, quick rounds, quick dailies, everything. And, yeah, that's really all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more Gwent content, and I'll see you soon.